As an author, one of the most important things we can do is create characters that feel real and relatable. And one of the most effective ways to do that is by giving them internal struggles. By showing what our characters are thinking and feeling, we can create a deeper emotional connection between the reader and our story. Hi authors, my name is Jennifer Carr and I'm here to help you write more realistically through psychology. As an author, a marriage and family counselor, and a former high school AP psychology teacher, I have some insider information that can help you write better stories and more relatable characters. So how do we create internal struggles for our characters? First, we need to understand that internal struggles come in many different forms. It could be a moral dilemma, a crisis of identity, a fear, a phobia, or even a struggle with mental illness. In To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, the protagonist, Scout Finch, struggles with understanding the injustices and prejudices in her society and balancing her own values against the expectations of those around her. The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath shows the main character, Esther Greenwood, dealing with a mental breakdown and struggling with her identity as a young woman in the 1950s. Shakespeare's Hamlet experiences a moral dilemma as he contemplates revenge for his father's murder and grapples with the consequences of his actions. One effective way to create internal struggles for your characters is by thinking about their backstory. What events in their past have shaped who they are today? What traumas have they experienced? What are their hopes and dreams and what's holding them back from achieving them? Another way to create internal struggles is by thinking about the character's relationships with others. What conflicts arise between them and the people around them? What do they want from these relationships and what are they willing to sacrifice to get it? Also consider the external factors that might be impacting your character's internal struggles. What societal pressures are they facing? What obstacles are standing in their way and how are they reacting to them? By considering these different factors, you can create a complex, multi-dimensional character with internal struggles that feel real and relatable. But it's not enough to simply create these struggles. We need to show them to the reader. And this is where the importance of that old adage, show don't tell, comes into play. Instead of simply telling the reader that a character is struggling with something, we need to show them through the character's actions and reactions. We can do this through dialogue, inner monologue, or even physical actions. When authors show rather than tell, they use descriptive language and sensory details to paint a picture in the reader's mind. So for example, instead of telling the reader that a character is angry, you, the author, might describe the character's furrowed brow, clenched fists, and a raised voice to show the reader the character's anger. By showing the reader what is happening rather than telling them directly, the reader is able to experience the story in a more immersive and engaging way. This technique can be used to create more vivid descriptions, build tension, and develop characters and their motivations. It's also the best way to make your reader feel the character's internal struggle as though it's their own. Creating internal struggles for characters is one of the most important things we can do as authors. By showing our characters thoughts and feelings, we can create a deeper emotional connection with the reader and make our stories more compelling. So the next time you're crafting a character, consider the different factors that might be impacting their internal struggles. And remember to show, not tell. Want some free resources that can help you become a better writer? Check out the link in my profile. Have questions about writing more relatable characters? Leave a comment below. Want to stay in the know about writing more realistic stories and more relatable characters? Hit that follow button.